Welcome to PC Wits Kids Tech Talk. Today we're reviewing Windows 7 Essentials. This is part two review, and essentially we're gonna cover what is missing and what is included. When we're talking about essentials, we mean different things, obviously, but Microsoft has actually taken out a few things and made them optional downloads. So it's basically called Windows Live Essentials. So what are we talking about? Messenger, mail, the writer, a toolbar, uh, movie maker, photo gallery. How do you get to download those quickly? Well, click on the start button and in the search box, type the word essentials and you'll get the link that will take you directly to the download page to get those. So when you click on that link, all right, it'll open up, connect to the internet and explain the details here on each of those items. Okay, so you can review what you want from there and learn about them. And, uh, and then once you're ready, click on the download button. Uh, I'm going to download all of them. I might as well, so I can just check them out. I might not use any of them, but uh, just to review them briefly. So if you check them all, it's going to be about less than 200 megs, okay, for, for the whole suite there. And um, I'm not going to review them right now all in detail. We're just going to quickly high level, just quickly go through them uh, fast so you can see what I'm talking about and what is considered essential here. Uh, all right, so select what you want. And then, of course, go through the setup and let it download and install the stuff, okay? Now, um, there are, of course, included essentials. So, stuff under the accessories, system tools, and stuff like that. I'll take a quick peek at those at the end. But here, when we're doing the install for this, uh, when you're done installing it, it's going to ask you to um, select some defaults. I'm just going to uncheck all of these because I, I want to customize and do things on my own. So, uh, there we go. Once it's done... You will need uh, a Hotmail or a Windows Live ID uh, to use some of the tools that you're downloading here. So now when you click on the uh, programs, you're going to see a Windows Live. And under Windows Live are all of the essentials, right? So Windows Live Messenger, for example, obviously you need a Live ID or a Hotmail ID. Okay, so you need an ID for that one, for example. For a photo gallery, you need that one in order to, to share uh, stuff. Let's look at the live writer here for a second, starting from the bottom. So the, the writer program that they've included allows you to connect to uh, your blog and um, basically update your blog remotely from, from this program. So if you don't have a blog, obviously you can sign up to one. Uh, and if you do have one, in my case I have one already, http colon slash slash pcwizkid.blogspot.com and um, after you put in your blog and username and password, you can continue and actually start modifying uh, your blog directly from here. And there's a lot of features that are editing features, of course, for creating blog entries, which you wouldn't necessarily get if you had in a WordPress editor, for example. So uh, I like this. It's uh, pretty neat. It's not uh, it's not a bad add-on. And... Um, it could come to some some use for for many. Okay, so this is actually a, a, a an okay a essential to, to perhaps download if you have a blog or you're thinking about making a blog. Another option here. Let's go back into the programs. Click on Windows Live. Another essential that uh, they have is of course the photo gallery. Okay, now the photo gallery is so you can share all your photos with other folks that might have a live ID or Hotmail ID or whatever and you quickly want to archive stuff, maybe or tag it uh, for later on, and organize your photos neatly. Kind of reminds me of the uh, Mac's uh, iPhoto. Uh, so I don't know if any of you are Mac uh, users also and you have an iPhoto. Many features from here are similar to iPhoto, okay? Uh, so it's, it's pretty slick, it's not too bad. It had some basic editing features here so you can touch up your images, of course, and, uh, and fix them up. So that's not too bad either, right? So this could come in handy, right? If you don't have uh, a graphics uh, or photo editing software and you want something basic and quick, this could do the job. And of course, at the same time, you can create uh, slideshows and prepare stuff for your wallpaper, screensaver, and stuff like that. So there's more to it than just um, organizing your, uh, your photos. So this could come in handy as well. So there's another uh, download. The uh, other one here that you can get, the Movie Maker, that one came before in previous versions of Windows, uh, and they've uh, improved it a little bit, obviously. So there's new features. When you go and you just uh, open up your uh, videos, you can drag and drop them and add them in there, and um, obviously add some transitions and effects to them, right? And that's really what you're looking for is what comes with it. Are there any 
transitions and effects and visual uh, appealing options here so that you, you can touch up your videos and obviously upload them to YouTube, for example. So I've never really been a fan of Moving Maker myself. I've never really bothered using it. So uh, there are basic features, obviously, to trim and, and cut pieces of video that you don't want and, and then add text overlay on top of it and stuff like that. So, I mean, there's, there's stuff in here. I'm not going to go through it in detail. Uh, it's up to you if you want to try it out or if you don't have anything to edit and you're looking for something simple then obviously this is as simple as it gets. Um, but uh, then again, it's maybe a little bit too simple. Uh, so anyways, it's a free download, just like all of the other essentials, they're all free. So um, again, go back into the Windows Live and see what's the next thing that we have. Well, the Messenger. I don't know if you've used Messenger before, but that's another chat program like the Yahoo Chat and the AOL Chat and all those other chat programs. Okay, so it's just another chat. This one's version... Uh, 2009 okay so there you go uh, you can download that if you want not gonna show you it in detail uh, next thing here is the uh, mail program again I'm not gonna show that to you in detail just the basics uh, the interface here to to um, archive and store your stuff I'm, I'm looking at my junk mail box here so you can see all the junk mail that it's getting and, and filtering so uh, that's working nicely uh, connecting to uh, my existing Windows Live or Hotmail ID, whatever you might have, and it's set up in here automatically, and uh, you can have other options added to there as well. So it's very similar to Outlook, right? Just very similar, nothing uh, out of the ordinary here for that. And um, you can see here that it has the basic options that you would need, that you would expect in a uh, mail program, okay? So uh, that's uh, the um, Windows Live mail for you. Next thing on the uh, programs list here that we haven't checked is the accessories. What is included already under the accessories? Well, a lot of the stuff that you would expect is still there now in Windows 7. Here you can still see a lot of the stuff. The run command is uh, not on the uh, on the side here where you where I had it in Vista. Uh, so uh, you can make a shortcut of it if you want, or later on we can do a hack and uh, add it to the uh, menu as well. So. Uh, not a problem and uh, the snipping tool and other options uh, that still exists that's nothing nothing new but I just thought I'd quickly show you so that you know that stuff still is there under the accessories it still exists um, uh, most importantly under system tools a lot of the goodies stuff that I use uh, on an ongoing basis are under system tools and they still exist of course and are in there some of them are improved as well I'll go in detail in other videos about these because uh, if I had to go in detail for everything this video would take uh, an hour so um, bear with me here on this okay I'm just quickly showing you everything part 3 is coming up now you know what the Windows Essentials is all about what's included what's not included and uh, I hope you enjoy this video and thank you for watching